we, we had a lot. We have a lot of respect for Coastal. Um, we watched them on film. Uh, they beat Tech, Tennessee. Uh, they lost Tennessee Tech at their place in a in a, in a three point game. Uh, they beat Akron at home uh, by four. They played well against Ole Miss. So they're they're a team I thought coming in that was very dangerous. Uh, you know, I was just really pleased with our decent defensive effort for the second game in a row. We held the team. Uh, to under 35%. Um, I thought we were obviously sloppy offensively, but you know we've been working hard on our defense, and it, and it showed. So that was the thing that I was most pleased about coming in the game because that's a much better team uh, than they look tonight. Um, they got the second leading score in the country. Uh, they have some very good players. I thought we, defensively we just did a really good job. Questions for Maurice? And can you talk about getting that first win as a freshman and what a big win it was, how it feels? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely feels great. Um, getting the first win as a freshman, um, it's a great feeling. Um, we going through a tough stretch. I'm going 0 for 5. And the big thing for us is just staying positive and just knowing that we haven't played our best basketball. So even though you know I'm, I play with a lot of emotion, you know, I, I get down on myself. I just can't let my teammates see that because as a point guard, you know, they look up to me. You know, to lead them. So just you know, keeping these guys positive. You know, getting that first win. It's definitely going to get our confidence um, even higher um, so we can go and get some more wins down the stretch. Can you talk about what it was like playing against a tough guard like Anthony Rafa throughout the game, you know, holding him to eight points and what that was like? It wasn't easy. Um, we definitely watched him a lot on film. Um, we have a lot of respect for him. Um, he can score it in, in a, a variety of ways. Um, but I just think it just credits how hard we worked and how much we paid attention to the scouting report. You know, and just how much we knew that um, limiting him was going to be the key to us um, to winning on defense, and um, our offense was going to take care of itself. So, you know, I give a lot of credit to that guy. He's a terrific scorer. So that, that just shows how hard we work on defense, you know. Um, loyalty to each other, um, helping each other out, you know, and just uh, following what uh, Coach Jones says. Having scored 15 points, did, did you come into the game thinking that you were going to score a lot, or did you just go with the flow kind of? Um, no. Um, I came into the game to say what I came in every other game. Um, I know that sometimes we're going to need to be a little bit more aggressive on offense to keep the defense honest. Um, and, and they definitely laid off me a lot tonight. Uh, so I was just coming in and I, I looked to get my to get my shots in the offense um, as a point guard should. You know, I'm pass first to get my teammates involved. So for me to score 15 points um, is definitely a plus. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that my assist um, total was a little low. So that's something I got to go back and work on. All right, thanks, Maurice. All right, thank you. Good job. Get some rest, all right? right? Rest, right, rest. Important. Tonight is the more. Tonight's more important than than Friday night. All right, coach. All thanks, right. guys. See you. Thank See you. you tomorrow. Uh, coach Jones, you know, what did you tell the team at halftime, being up by, I think it was 15 points or so? What did you tell them at half to keep that pressure going? Well, I I, I really gave the responsibility to the seat, to the to the to the captains, and I put it on Dom, DJ, and Travis to make sure we went out with great effort in the second half. Um, and I was really pleased with the, you know, the team, and I thought those guys did a good job making sure that we were ready to go in the second half. Um, you know, that was a, a definitely a uh, something I was thinking about. I was just making sure we came out with the, with with, a, with, with some great intensity because we hadn't had a lead like that all year so far. Um, Travis Robinson scored all 12 of his points with three pointers and he shot 50 percent. What's it like to have that kind of production? Yeah, he's been, you know, I think Travis has done a, a really nice job. The last two games especially, um, he did a great job at George Mason. Uh, just terrific. He was outstanding on both ends of the floor. You know, we've really put a lot of responsibility on him going kind of going back to being, um, you know, more of a defensive uh, presence. I think earlier in the year, you know, we kind of got away from our identity, and that's to play hard. You know, I think we worked so hard on our offense early, uh, and it showed, and I think we were just kind of going out and thinking more offense than defense. And, you know, we tried to just change our mindset, put more time into the defense, and we, we really went to Travis and asked him to, to lead the charge, and he's done a nice job. Uh, Coach, you guys took 21 three-point attempts in this game. You made eight. Is that a number you're happy with going forward? I know your perimeter play seems to, seems to be a strength issue. Yeah, you know, it's, you know, we, we and we've taken more at times. The way we play, we get in the lane, guys have to converge, so that's what's open. Um, 
you know, I thought we passed up a couple, uh, but we, we've got to we've got to be a team that's ready to shoot the ball from three. And we got to have confidence in it. Um, you know, we and we got to get other guys being a little bit more confident in, in, in taking them. Um, as long as they're good ones, then we want them. You know, we want the ones where we kind of got our feet set. We can step into it. Um, you know, and I think as we go around, we'll, we'll get a little bit more confident with more guys looking to take them. But uh, you know, Travis did a great job tonight. The first half, your team had 13 turnovers, and the second only four. How do you think result in that? Big and, I, and, I, and I don't want to say this, but I told them that we were going to have four turnovers. It might be on the board over there. You know, I thought we, we really haven't spent a lot of time on our offense, to be honest with you. Um, we were so bad defensively in the first um, three weeks of the season, we couldn't stop anybody. The numbers show we were giving up close to 50% from the field. Uh, but, our, but our practices were really geared to playing and playing with a pace and really executing offensively that I knew that we could struggle offensively tonight. Um, but I had to make sure that we, we changed the mindset of our players. So we got to find that balance in practice of making sure we're, we're doing a great job of, of competing and, and breaking down our defense and kind of get back to trying to execute. Once we can kind of find that balance, that's when we're going to become a – a better team that can play consistently over time. And right now we're young, and so it's it's a little bit harder to gain that consistency. But we once we get that, we'll you know we're going to be a very good team. Coach, you said that you haven't focused on offense that much tonight. How much do you think the defensive pressure turned into offensive points? No doubt. And that's when it's funny because that's <laughs> that's what I was telling them early in the year <laughs> that if we defend, we can run. And I think they only heard run. You know, and so we we were we were really we were poor defensively, and I think that really cost us a couple of games early. Um, you know, we we could say we we played a, you know, we played a hard schedule and it was on the road and the whole bit, but all those all those are just excuses. The bottom line is we didn't get the job done, and it was more about our defensive effort, consistent presence uh, that we did not have. Um, and we are a team that if we can get stops, we're pretty good because we're fast and we and we're unselfish. So we got to get stops. That's the key to us being good. Going back to that first half, do you mind talking about all those turnovers? It, the, both teams were very sloppy. <laughs> yeah, it was, an ugly, it was an ugly game. It was just uh, it was ugly in the first half. You know, there were a lot of unforced errors, guys stepping on the line, guys traveling. We had more travel calls tonight than we had all year. Um, you know, I can't speak for them. I can only speak for us. You know, they did a good job of, of kind of forcing us into some turnovers, but I think some of them were just unforced. And I think a lot of it was just – we, we just haven't spent time on our timing. There were times where John came off a screen and traveled before he got the ball. I mean, just things that we got to go back and execute, uh, get our footwork down, get our get our pace down offensively. We were just kind of a little out of rhythm on the offensive end and showed. Um, your team isn't a necessarily big team, but yet you had 30 points in the paint. How do you think that happened? We got layups. You know, we got some steals. You know, they probably credit the layups and transition as points in the paint when you finish there. Um, you know, we had a couple of putbacks, um, but we're a team that can get in the paint. Um, we're not a big team, so we'll struggle at times. Our guards can struggle to score over bodies, uh, but we can get in the lane, and that that has helped us. Um, lately, we've done a good job of kind of shutting down people's best interior player. So when we played Rutgers and we played uh, Mason, we were able to kind of control the paint a little bit because we're a double team in the post and we're fronting the other post player. That has really helped us early in the early in the season. We were getting crushed in the paint. We, you know, the numbers were staggering. You know, we were fouling a lot, and we were they were scoring on us in the paint like crazy. So our rebounding numbers have been pretty consistent. Like that team has been plus 10 on the glass. You know, I know they had 17 offensive rebounds, but it was 35 to 34 on the glass, and you know that's a pretty good job.